friends in the last video you understood the shapes we get when we trace objects from the surroundings today we will understand some interesting facts related to tracing objects hey tolman look this is cube shaped toy and this is cuboid shaped toy now tell me which shape would we get when we trace these cube and cuboid shaped toys hmm let's keep these toys on a paper and trace them if we keep this cube toy on paper and trace it then we will get a square shape like this and if we keep this cuboid toy on paper and trace it then also we will get a square shape like this oh but why do we get the square shape when we trace both these toys because the base of these two toys are square and we have traced both the toys with their base yes i understood let's now change their base and keep both the toys like this now tell me which shape would we get when we will trace these two toys hmm if we keep this cube toy on paper and trace it then we will get the square shape like this and if we keep this cuboid toy on paper and trace it then we will get the big square shape like this oh tolman we will get the square shape if we will trace this square toy but when we trace this cuboid toy we do not get a big square shape but we get a rectangle shape hey but how will we identify this square and rectangle shape look carefully the measurements of the sides are the same in this shape so this is a square and in a rectangle shape this is a rectangle shape in a rectangle the measurements of the opposite sides are the same yes now i understand it very well that the shape we get when we trace the cuboid is not a big square but it is a rectangle yes so tolman remember that if we will keep the cube shaped toy in any way and trace it then we will always get the square shape and if we will trace the cuboid shape then we will always get either a square or a rectangle shape yes so friends today in this video we learned some interesting facts related to the cube and cuboid shaped objects from our surroundings friends now you will be able to identify the square and rectangle very well right yes very good friends in the next video we will learn to identify different shapes we will get when we trace the objects from our surroundings